Did you know that going to space drastically slows down the aging process? Now there's other factors as well, things that we can't control, like genetics, but then you have things that we can control that slow down the aging process. Things like the amount of sun exposure, the amount of stress, smoking, drugs, alcohol, as well as the amount of exercise and sleep that you get. But one of the biggest things that affects the aging process and accelerates it is sugar, especially added sugar, especially fructose. Now, by the end of this video, you'll understand how sugar drastically accelerates the aging process, and it all happens at the cellular biochemical level. The cell is the simplest form of life, and we're made of tens of trillions of cells. Now, in order to stay alive, our cells, they have to have energy. Usually that entails the cell burning glucose, which any cell can do. When glucose is inside a cell, it's broken down in a process called glycolysis. Now, as a result, pyruvic acid is generated, and in this process, some energy is released and captured in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now at this point, the pyruvic acid can enter the mitochondria of the cell, where it enters the Krebs cycle to generate a lot more ATP. Alternatively, if the mitochondria are overwhelmed, that pyruvic acid is diverted to go down the pathway of de novo lipogenesis, or DNL, which is a process of converting sugar into fat. Now in this pathway, the pyruvic acid is turned into a fatty acid called palmitic acid, which is attached to a glycerol molecule, and then it gets shipped out of the liver cell in the form of a triglyceride molecule. It's the triglyceride molecule that ends up being deposited in fat cells throughout the body. The two energy pathways, especially inside the mitochondria, continuously release byproducts called oxygen-free radicals that are actually toxic to your cell. But your cells do their best to detoxify them, otherwise it'll be the death of the cell. Specifically, it's the peroxisome of that cell which releases these antioxidants, which are basically the antidote to those toxins. Now, do you ever wonder why we get wrinkles as we age, or why we get cataracts, or even atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries? Yes, it's the aging process, but specifically, at the biochemical and the cellular level, it's something called glycation. It's essentially the human body's version of caramelizing, or browning, occurring in all of our cells. The only way it stops is if we die, but it can be slowed down. And the slower the glycation, the slower you age. Glycation occurs when sugar, either glucose or fructose, combines with the amino acid component of protein. When they attach the protein, it becomes stiffer. Now, most of these damaged proteins end up being swept away by the garbage man of the cell. But that garbage man, he isn't perfect at his job, especially when he's overwhelmed with way too much garbage. So then what happens? You're left with AGES, A-G-E-S, or advanced glycation end products, which impair cellular function, and they ultimately age you at a quicker rate. And part of this process depends on if the sugar we're dealing with is glucose or fructose. Now, glucose and fructose are structurally very similar. Both are monosaccharides, and both are found in dietary sugar. For example, the sucrose in fruit that you eat has both glucose and fructose. They're also in high fructose corn syrup, which is in a lot of processed food. It's also in brown sugar, honey, agave, and maple syrup. But here's the thing. Fructose acts much faster in that glycation process compared to glucose, seven times faster. Why? Because fructose is a five-member ring structure and it's much less stable, which is to say that it loses its ring structure easier. Now, why is that significant? Because when it converts into a linear form, that's when it attaches to the protein. That's the glycation process. And fructose ends up producing 100 times more free oxygen radicals. And as if that's not bad enough, one of those breakdown products of fructose is called methylglyoxal, and that also undergoes glycation 250 times faster than glucose. So at least in this sense, sugar is worse than starch, and sugar in the form of fructose is worse than glucose. Collagen is the main extracellular protein in the body, meaning it resides outside of the cells. It's the major component of connective tissue, skin, tendons, and cartilage. Because it's so prominent and has a very long half-life and it has accessibility to all that glucose that's floating around in our bloodstream, it's the perfect setup for glucose and fructose to attach to it. This ends up increasing the collagen stiffness, meaning it's less flexible. And that decrease in flexibility, that's a result of those AGE-mediated collagen crosslinks. Now, this occurs not just in the skin, but also the aorta. So it's a huge factor as to why you get wrinkles as you age.
When you look at the tissue samples from insulin-dependent diabetic patients, they have increased AGE-modified collagen as a function of their chronological age, but the levels observed were comparable to normal individuals who are twice as old as the diabetic patients. So if you wanna slow down the aging process, you're gonna to wanna to avoid things that are toxic to your body. That includes excessive sunlight, that includes smoking, alcohol, drugs, but of course, sugar, especially when it comes to fructose. And that's where you find it in the added sugar, especially in processed food. Generally speaking, processed food has the most added sugar and most added sugar is fructose. The worst culprits are things like candy, pies, cookies, pastries, and cakes, donuts, ice cream, sugar sweetened drinks like soda, juice, and any syrup, including those used for lattes. But there's also a lot of hidden added sugar in things like cereal, yogurt, salad dressing, and other condiments like ketchup and barbecue sauce.